Not gonna lie, I have to say, I have to say, but this new guy actually, yeah, the new guy and also the new girl, basically in this anime of episode uh, episode six, uh, domestic girlfriend. I, I forgot his name. I can't pronounce. I can't pronounce his name. He has a really long name. But anyways, uh, but anyways, uh, anyways, uh, it seems to me that this guy has a has a love fetish for the MC. He really does. That's basically what it basically seems to me. And, and 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 stuff, you know. And I thought for 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 a moment there, I thought the I thought the dude was gonna actually kiss the kiss the MC. I was gonna, oh my gosh, I, dude, I hope they, I hope they're not gonna do that. And, I mean, it came very very close, but they didn't. But they didn't. But I don't I don't not really sure if they, if they were if they really were gonna do that or not. It's just like it was. Just, oh man, it was kind of weird. It really was. It really really was. And you know, it's like, oh man, I can't believe what I'm seeing right here is this stuff. Like, so, you know, I didn't didn't expect you know a domestic girlfriend would just turn around on 180 and just go and just go and just like like like, like with this new guy and basically have to face the scene here. One thing I don't like about this new guy is is that where where the MC uh with the not so he was being forced to to basically to kiss this girl and you know basically this guy who's just like. He's the advisor for, for for the club and stuff like that, and and he just like forced him not to, and basically her, basically to to kiss each other. And and the reason and the reason why is reason why that is and stuff like that is kind of like that the guy was just like teasing him, oh you you'll never become a man or or anything, or anything like that. But this guy just really gets on my nerves, really does, and and stuff like that. I just don't seem to understand like he gets away with this kind of stuff. And, you know, it's just basically the school without even knowing, but even though. Not so told, told Riru about what was going on and stuff like that. And I'm also concerned of like if he's gonna put uh, play some influence on the girls also well too, basically in this alley or I will say in the club, that could be a very good possibility. And that that could be. I could just tell. I could just tell if like this guy is probably manipulating, manipulating that this girl, this girl's mind and just basically just to make her do this, do do that, and all that other stuff. I don't know how long he's been knowing her. I don't know how long. I don't know how long they basically. Are, I basically not being friends, but however, I wouldn't say it's like basically like being friends, but it's something more to it than that. I'm not going to say what it is, because because to think of YouTube reasons, uh, that's just basically what it feels to me and stuff like that. And when people just do that kind of stuff and just take advantage of a girl or, or a woman or something like that, and make them do things, make them do things that they don't feel feel comfortable doing, that is wrong and so stuff like that. And that that's why I, I find that as weird and creepy. Just to see, just to see stuff like that basically just happen and stuff like that. I don't care if you're a guy or a girl or anything like that, but that still is, that still is just uncalled for. It really actually is. It really actually is because what what they what they served the, the girl basically the girl and you know, Nasu they came that close almost kissing kissing each other. They almost did, but then Nasu saw something, saw something, saw something the, uh, of the new girl basically the anime uh, episode six where she was about to cry and. I think the reason why she was about to cry is because she doesn't like to be pushed into this corner to basically do something. What what he has to say is to say like you got to listen to me and do what as I say. It's for that, and that's that, that's what it feels to me. It feels to me that this that this guy that that this guy that what he's doing to uh, basically to 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 this girl is just absolutely wrong. And I'm kind of worried about about Momo and also Ruru. Also, well, too, because the reason why I'm saying the reason why I'm saying it because I'm hoping that I'm hoping this guy does not you know, spread his influence based on the, of, of, of the summit of these girls. Now, I definitely want to, there's, I definitely want to say there's not really much to really talk about, but I figure I just want to talk about those different segments and stuff. Now, the, the also of the segment basically is Amy. Also, well, too, also, well, too, is basically has to do basically with the, uh, you know, Natsu and also Hina. Uh, not so, you know, even though they want to go on a date with each other, but even though they're both sisters and brother. But one thing that really shocked me the most is that he does she, right? She apologized to, apologized to not to say, like, hey, I'm sorry about that. Get, get forced into the situation where your dad's getting married and also, also, also too. I think they did get married. I'm not really one of the sure, 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 because. I don't know why he why the why his old man wants to get married in the first place or that. Maybe he just wants to have his old family or something, like that, or maybe he dies or something, like that, or he's just trying to make Natsu very happy and stuff, or that maybe is because the one thing the one thing I'm not so sure if the father is is uh, basically got divorced or something like that, 
uh, with the letters, which I, I really do not know, or or she must have passed away, or there may be much more to it than that. That Dotso just doesn't really know that his father is not telling Lance. So there's not really much really caught to really talk about. But one other thing I definitely want to talk about is Riru. Is Riru? Riru is. It seems like it seems like, it's like she's searching for something. It seems like. She really actually is. I can tell that Riru that she does have a personal love connection to to the MC, which is Natsu. And there's no lie about that. You could just tell you could just tell that she seems like oh yeah, she makes it seem like she's an easy person to talk to, but not like other Bobo, because Bo people would probably say like, oh Bobo is very easy. It's very easy. That's why some of the, some of those guys were saying back in the last episode, say like, oh yeah, she, oh yeah, she's very easy. To take advantage, but even though, even though it's just basically just like I said, you know, about some of the things that I saw in anime, it's especially you know the the markings on a forum, which I, I'm not going to say anything about that because of YouTube reasons, YouTube reasons. But I'm just, I'm just basically, I'm just saying and stuff like that because if I were, if if I said as I said back in the last time, if I were to get myself to involved and stuff like this, that's a red flag to me. That just tells me that probably would affect me and. And stuff because I have gone through that kind of stuff also too. I like it so I'm not gonna go into full details because you'll know, like with YouTube reasons. But even though I'm just basically I'm just saying I still believe that Riru does Riru does has feelings does have feelings for the MC, and I really really do. And just basically Hina Hina on the other hand, I think she's kind of a back and forth back and forth of a girl. I really do think that she really actually is. But even about Basically, what I said, but basically the last episode, the last episode of my view is that she's lacking responsibility. It means that she's not, she's not doing what she's basically should be doing, and stuff like that. Even though she's still young, she's still a teacher and stuff like that. I definitely do understand that. But the point I'm trying to make here is that is that she's just not really showing showing her true colors yet. You know, that's basically what it feels to me. That's and I definitely do understand why. You know, basically, what Chibi he doesn't like, he doesn't, you know, basically like Hina. And I do understand it. I do understand it. But you also have to remember that, yeah, re, uh, not Riru, really, but Hina may be the best girl, maybe the best girl in anime. But I consider Riru also, I consider Riru also as well, too, the best girl in anime also, well too. Because what I love about Riru, she's more of an open person who just wants to talk to, to anyone, a, anyone out there. But Hina, on the other hand, play as a far, you know, just, just some things that, she lacked responsibility. She needs to learn to act responsibility instead of not just laying on the couch, just drunk, eat a bunch of food, and, and you know, it's just, you know what I mean, but, but, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm going to refer Ru because I think Ru is the route to me for, for, for me to go to. I, I would definitely would say that, but, yeah. So yeah, it was uh that's the end of the end of this uh Able Reaction. So it was under it was I'll see you guys later. Take care, hope you guys have a wonderful day. Uh don't forget to uh, subscribe. Please consider subscribing. Uh please hit like button, give me a thumbs up, and please hit the notification for bell, hit the notification bell also as some of you you guys watch my videos, and please leave a comment below. I'm really kinda of curious what you wish you got to say. Anyways, I love you guys, take care, hope you guys have a wonderful day. Take care, God bless, remember just slowly, I love you guys, please safe, everybody stay positive. Love you guys, take care.